Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how you can deploy your front-end code to Firebase hosting. Um, I already have an Angular app. Uh, the last app I'm going to use is a Imply Payroll Management app. Or it could be any app, any HTML or React app. Uh, you can host it on the Firebase hosting. So in case if you don't know what Firebase is, if Firebase is a Google uh, database uh, developed, designed and developed, supported by Google but it's more than a database. So in case if you don't already have signed it to Firebase, you all need a Google ID and uh, go to firebase.com and go to the console. So once you're inside the console, uh, as, you, as I told you, it's more than a database. So not only a database, it provides you an authentication system and it also provides hosting. So in this tutorial, I'm going to cover how you can host your uh, HTML or Angular or React app to Google Firebase. So let's get started. First thing first, I already have a lot of project here, but I'm going to create a new project. And um, you can name this project whatever you want. I'm going to call it a Elish ERP. Uh, just accept that uh, conditions, create the new projects. As simple as that. Few more minutes, few more seconds. Okay, so now the new project is ready. Okay, so as you can see, you, the Google Firebase it supports the authentication, database, storage, hosting. In this case, I'm just going to use the hosting portion of it. Okay, so now as you can see, there is nothing inside here, but uh, it it provides you all the directions what you need to do. So first thing first, you need to install this npm install hyphen g Firebase tools. But before I do that, you know, I first let me show you the app I'm trying to install. So this is the app. I already have another tutorial uh, about this app. Uh, what this app does is an imply payroll and salary management system. So, and I'm going to include uh, the link of this video tutorial to that playlist so that you can see the app in action. But for this tutorial, all I'm going to do, I'm going to take that app and host it to the Firebase hosting. So let's get started. I have this, uh, as you can see in the Visual Studio, I have this uh, blank directory here, it's called Elish ERP. Let me browse to that directory. Elish ERP and here I'm going to clone that uh, app here. So it could be any app, uh, but I'm going to, you know, I'll include again, again, I'll include the uh, this link, the my GitHub repository link. So let's copy this over here. It's going to take a few seconds. As you can see, this app, uh, app is already over there. Okay, perfect. So again, in this tutorial, I'm going to host the client side of it. Server side, I just finished doing it. So let me do this thing. Let's go to the CD into employee, okay? And then CD into client, CD into Angular. Okay, sorry. And let's do a quick LS. Okay, as you can see, this is a brand new app. So first thing first, I need to do an NPM install. So what this command will do, it will install all the required, um, you know, all the required packages for this app uh, is going to install that. So while we are waiting, okay, so let's go, go back to this npm install hyphen g file. So, I, hey guys, so I resume my recording after npm install. As you can see, the npm installed, it required all the required dependencies inside my Angular app. Uh, as you can see all of the you know modules over there okay perfect now next thing you know now my angular uh, is all set up so one thing I want to do here I'm going to go to this directory again employee sorry okay so this app is ready, ready for deployment. Um, so, so next command is I'm going to build ng build prod. So what this command will do, it will create a production ready app. So which I, I can take and deploy it on the Firebase. So ng build prod. And if I go to my angular.json file, let me minimize this an angular.json file. So you will see is going to write all the production files to this path like under the DST a alive uh, alive tracking.com so it's going to write all the output files to that directory okay so let's go back to this one so while I'm waiting 
Um, let's go back to my Firebase project. Firebase. Go to the console. So I'll go back to the directory, the project I just created, LHERP. Sorry, for some reason, for my machine is very slow. Okay, perfect. So, in this project, as I told you, I'm going to use this project for my hosting my application. So, if I go to the hosting tab, I'll go to the get it started. So, basically, it will tell you all the commands you will need. So, first thing first, you need to install the npm install Firebase tool. So, let's go back to this directory, and I'm not going to test that. I'm going to open another terminal window here, and. Uh, because I'm in a Mac, so I will need to include sudo. You don't need it if you are not installing it globally, but because I'm installing the Firebase tools globally, so if you're on a Mac machine, you need to uh, just use the, you know, append the word sudo in front of your command, and it's going to ask for my Mac password, and that's it. That's Now it's going to um, install all the Firebase tools. So uh, in first terminal window, I, as you can see, there's some error. Okay, I will fix this error. Okay guys, so I am back. As you can see, the ng build prod, it again created a nice build. Uh, earlier I had one error, and let me just quickly show you why I had that error. It was complaining about the state doesn't define, and so good thing about ng build prod is, if there is any a small error which your ng server doesn't catch, like this one, it will let you know. So earlier the error was this variable was not defined in the state component. So all I did, I just declared that variable and it fixed that error. So uh, that was pretty simple. But now as you can see, LG build, ng build prod, it created a build. So let me go back to my um, dist directory. And as you can see, under dist, alive tracking, all of the files are there. So now these are my Angular production files. But it could be anything. It could be a React file, a React.js, it could be Vue.js, or simple HTML or JavaScript file. All it needs is central index.html. So suppose it could be a website if you want to deploy it on a Firebase hosting. So same concept apply. The, uh, the steps I did, the ng build prod and those things, you don't need those things. Ultimately what it does, you all you need your website, the code for the website. And you know, it's a regular website always the entry point as you can see is index.html and then there are the supporting files so what and that's exactly what ng build prod did so now now you have this code ready which can be deployed to any uh, web server or any any hosting server so now let's go back to that second um, command prompt window where we just installed the firebase tools as you can see firebase tools are also also installed so let me do one thing i'm going to create uh, one brand new folder here, okay, and I'm going to call it a Firebase. So, now let me open my Finder window, Documents. So this this is the Firebase, um, as you can see, is an empty directory here. Now, as you saw, I already installed my Firebase tools. So let's go back to this Firebase hosting. Um, so this step is done. Second step is asking me to do Firebase login, Firebase init, and Firebase de deploy. So let's start with the Firebase login. And when you are doing this, then you will understand what exactly, you know, uh, what it does. So before I do that, let me browse to that directory, cd into, and I believe I created uh, under documents. Okay, perfect. Now where did my new folder go? So I created it inside edish ERP, that's okay. So cd into elish erp slash firebase. Perfect. Okay. Let me do a quick ls. As you can see, there's nothing inside this, um, this directory. Okay. So now next thing is asking me to do firebase login. 
So once you do that, and this is the only first time I believe is required. So basically, R is going to do is going to ask you, okay, uh, it's a very simple question, and then it will ask you for your authentication. So this is the same, or you have to use the same Google account what you just used to uh, sign into this um, so to Firebase Console, that like Firebase.com. So here, um, waiting for the authentication. I believe it should open a command prompt, uh, open your default web browser. So in my case, uh, in this case, because it's a Mac, I believe it will um, open your Safari. And then next thing is, so make sure, again, the same thing, make sure that you use the same um, Gmail account. So it's asking for the permission that if it can use your uh, credentials or not. As you can see, it's already success. So Firebase in it is done. Okay. Next step is it will ask you to do the Firebase in it. Sorry, Firebase login was done. So let's do a Firebase in it. And please watch this command very carefully. Inside this Firebase, you see there is nothing inside that. So once I hit the Firebase in it, and remember I'm inside the Firebase directory. So what this command is going to do is going to create few default. Uh, it's going to ask a few questions and then it's going to create few default um, uh, files into inside this directory. So let me let me walk you through what this is. So Al is asking, what do you want this Firebase CLI to do? So as you can see, it's a little hard to watch it, but you know you can uh, maybe let me try uh, fixing my you know increasing the font size. Sorry, it didn't help. So as you can see, these icons because as I told you. I'm going to use this project only for hosting purpose. So see that, and then you hit the space key to select this, and then you hit enter. Okay. So you can use the cursor keys to go up and down, and then you once you uh, go to the hosting, hit the space key once. So it's going to select that option, and you hit. Okay. Perfect. So all is going to do. Then next thing is is going to ask you what project you want to use. So suppose if you have multiple Firebase projects, so same thing, uh, as you can see, just move your uh, uh, cursor, you know, uh, key to, so this is the project, Elishi RP I want to, I, um, I want to select. So pick that option, and then you hit enter again. Next thing is going to ask you, what do you want to use as a public directory, public? So you can, this is actually a folder name, you can use it, you know, make it anything else, say app or www, whatever it is. So I'm just going to like leave it public, it doesn't make a difference. So click on public and configure as a single page app, rewrite all URLs to index.html. What does it mean actually? So suppose you, uh, somebody tries to access your website and it says slash and say abcd.html and that abcd.html doesn't even exist. So in that case, what is going to do is going to route that URL back to the index.html. I highly recommend that. So click, please choose yes and click OK. And as you can see, simple. It just created your uh, Firebase and it is complete. And go to the left hand side and you will see a couple of files it has been created. So let's let's walk through the, these files. It's a very simple file. So remember, like you know, as I said, reroute the things. This is what actually it does. So if you do, if you select no, this code will not write. Basically, basically, uh, all it does, if somebody is trying to access an HTML file which doesn't exist, is going to reroute that URL back to your index.html. It's quite handy. So please write that thing. Okay. Everything else is very simple. All is saying like everything is should be under public HTML. So if inside that public, you will see there is one simple file called index.html. At this point, this file works. Um, let me show you how. So let's go back to the command prompt window. Okay. So I know the next step is Firebase deploy, but I'm not going to do that because quickly I want to show you something. So here, instead of Firebase deploy, I want you to type Firebase serve. Okay. So what it's going to do is going to create a web server here, and it will, um, you know, whatever is inside that folder, you will be able to quickly see. You know, so before you before going live to a real Firebase uh, project, I recommend that you know you, sh you should like you know just test your application there if it's working fine or not. So as you can see, it created a local server at localhost 5000. Let me quickly go to that um, localhost 5000, and as you can see, it will open this application here. So basically, this app, this um, 
this index.html if you go to your um, firebase directory here so inside the firebase public you see the index.html this is the file what's showing up here okay so quickly i wanted to show you that now let's go back to that uh, so this is a very quite nice like handy tool which you can use to uh, test your application before you deploy it okay now let's go so remember we did the ng build prod what it did it created a couple of um, all the files over there okay dist live tracking so these are all the actual angular file or it could be any website which i want to deploy it under firebase so go ahead and select it all copy okay and then go to your firebase directory public and here you all you need to do is paste it out that's it so i'm going to replace the existing index.html very simple next thing is as you can see i replace that original index.html with my index.html if you do the firebase serve again you can see your application you can test your uh, existing application to localhost 5 5000 but i'm not going to do that because i know my app works so next step is as you go back the last step actually is um, sorry let me go back so last step is you say as soon as you hit the firebase deploy is going to publish all your existing website to to the firebase hosting and it's very very quick uh, well actually it depends on the size of your website so my website as you can see is, is an angular build prod so it's like you know less than 1 MB so it should be very very quick as you can see it's deploying the 47 48 files out there and that's it so as you can see my URL is ready my website is ready uh, okay let me go to this one so my new website address is elishrp slash this firebase.com perfect see beautiful so that's all it takes as you as you can see like you know is that easy to deploy any website to firebase hosting it takes only very few commands first you need to install the firebase tools and then firebase login firebase init and firebase deploy is very simple and it takes very very few steps it's very dynamic and uh, fast fast deployment um, before i move on okay so I think we talked about Firebase JSON, Firebase.json. Uh, that's pretty much it. So you can take any HTML, plain HTML, JavaScript, that kind of a code and deploy it onto the Firebase hosting. Unfortunately, it doesn't support other languages like PHP, or Ruby on Rail, or Python, those kind of a thing. It's only for uh, your um, JavaScript kind of a framework uh, server hosting. Uh, but I think it's, you know, I like it because it's very quick and handy. And uh, because I uh, most of my databases I'm using Firebase, so it's uh, it's easy to put everything all together. One last thing I want to show you, as you can see, if you go to the hosting, so it will show you the correct uh, the current version. So as you can see, it, just now I deployed all these files. It's showing me this is the um, version I have. Now if I can go back and make changes again and do the Firebase deploy, it will create another version there. The good thing is. Um, you can always come back and revert to any versions you like. So that's the best thing about it. Like, you know, you are you can keep your um, build history, the versions history, and you can always, suppose you make a mistake and you want to switch to the earlier version using Firebase hosting is very, very easy to do so. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, if you have any question, please leave your uh, comments to my GitHub repository or you can uh, leave your comments on the YouTube. Thank you again. Thanks for watching.